Well, a staple in the Memphis golf community is debuting a whole new look. Since 1932, the Links at Pine Hill has given resources for people in South Memphis to learn and love the game of golf. Well, after some much needed renovations, they are back open. Jordan Foster is here with <laughs> us with how special this course is to the community. Yeah, talk about history. This is a place where even Tiger Woods has even visited back in the 90s. He actually held a clinic after he won the Masters in the 90s, something not many courses here locally can say. And when I tell you, this group is excited to continue providing the opportunities to these kids, and they're doing it one swing at a time. This is my home. This is my second home, bro. It's the same golf course, but this time with the new field. There we go. Oh, it's totally different. It's uh, beautiful as far as just the eye goes. The links at Pine Hill has provided thousands of rounds for golfers of all ages, backgrounds, and skill levels in the 91 years it's been here in South Memphis. As a junior golfer, I started playing at the age of 10. Hit my first golf ball on this property, so I spent countless hours here. So it's a, it's like sacred ground. So sacred, William Key returned to run the place. He's currently the facility manager and has overseen all of the new renovations to happen here since they started construction back in November 2021. The fairways are brand new. All the greens are brand new. Um, a couple of new, we got five or six brand new holes that have never been seen. Some of the new features include two new lakes, new hole locations, and even a new driving range tough <laughs> yeah, I love I love the, uh, the layout it, it's, it's tough I don't three put it <laughs> five greens already and since it's ribbon cutting last Friday fans of the course say they're glad to be back at the place where it all started it's been rewarding and beneficial for me as a, as, as a man, especially as an African-American. Most, most African-Americans didn't play golf. Providing more opportunities to juniors in the community, similar to the ones they had growing up. Hopefully the kids will come out to where um, they'll be introduced to the game and learn something new instead of just, you know, basketball, football, the normal sports. It's real special for the community. That's, that's the part I love about it because you can stay right around here and you can walk to a golf course. So it's, it's beautiful for me. I love it. When do you think you'll be back? Next week. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be back next week, but unfortunately, the newly opened course, they don't have any tee times available to the public just yet. They plan to feel fully open, though, sometime within the next few weeks. They're getting ready for that buzz. A lot of people are excited to get out there, Aaron and Yvonne. So we going, Jordan? Listen, oh, going? by the way, I don't know if you all know, fun fact for you all back at home, Aaron used to golf. And so did Jordan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to We're little, both a little golfer. A little See, that's one, cool. Two. Yeah, he was no. telling us in the break that he used to teach kids. Yeah, so yeah. talk kids, and um, it's crazy full circle moment. When I taught kids in the summer, one of my, uh, I guess, supervisors actually is from Memphis and really? swung his first golf club at Pine Hill. So no it's crazy, way. crazy full circle mo moment. But I'm excited for this course. I'm excited for this community to uh, have it back just in time for summer. Yeah, it's definitely a resource. I started golfing when I was five or six years yeah. old. So knowing that kids here have that chance too, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah.